Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking next level Korean skincare. These are the most innovative products to come out of the Korean skincare market. And the reason I want to celebrate them in today's video is I feel that where Korea leads, Western brands always follow. They're always playing catch up because if you want something innovative, different, some new technology in your skincare routine, often you're gonna to have to look to the Korean skincare brands to deliver that. I've discovered so many new innovative Korean skincare products and I want to share my favorite, the best of the best in today's video. So sit back, relax, let's talk some next level Korean skincare. Now, before we get into today's video, the eagle-eyed amongst you might notice a little bit of a change with the filming setup today. And that's because having moved house two months ago, Finally, I have my life in order. The boxes are unpacked and I now have a dedicated filming space for all things YouTube. I'll be switching up the background from time to time, but whilst this might seem new, those of you that have been with the channel some time might notice some of the consistencies from the old house. For example, Shelf Chicken, which was a firm favorite with the Mad About Skin community, is now back in his rightful place. Uh, this is my plaque for 100,000 um, YouTube subscribers, which I got, I think it was about six months ago and a whole host of things has happened since then. So, but I still look on it and it makes me smile every single time. So it's nice to be in my own filming space, but let me know what, what you guys think in the comments below. We're talking all things Korean skincare, and I genuinely believe that Korean skincare leads the way with innovation. But do you guys agree? I want to hear from you. If you believe that the best innovation comes from the Korean skincare market, let me know by leaving the Korean flag in the comments section below. If though you think I've been unduly harsh and unfair on Western brands, let me know by leaving the cross emoji in the comments and share with me some of your favorite innovations coming out of the West. I do want to get this conversation going and to see what you guys, the Mad About Skin community, really think. Now, without further ado, I think it's time we cut that waffle and tell straight on in. So today I've got a lot of products that I'm going to talk to. Anything I mention is going to be linked in the description box below. Those links are there for your convenience if you want to check them out, the price point where you live, make a purchase. Like I say, they're all there, be my guest. I've also linked some timestamps to hopefully help you navigate your way through this video. If you want to jump to one section of video over another, again, those timestamps are there to make it super easy for you guys. Now, I'm going to kick things off with what really inspired this video, a little bit of innovation that I found that, um, for me, inspired me to want to create this video today. I like this tiny little pot of powder. This is the Numbuzzin Panthoenic B5 Active Drying Powder. Now, I actually filmed a whole video dedicated to this. I'm going to find that and I'll link it up there if you want to explore it in more detail. But this, to me, just demonstrates innovation in the Korean skincare market in a nutshell. And Numbuzzin actually came out with a whole range based on this panthoenic acid, which is great for minimizing irritation, inflammation, and preventing breakouts. Also helps to regulate the oil levels in the skin. So if you're super oily like me, panthoenic acid can be a great addition. But it's also one of those ingredients that I think works well universally. If you've got a super sensitive skin type, then panthoenic acid will just calm everything down. So again, could be a great addition to your skincare routine. Now, the reason I say this is innovative is this isn't designed to be used on its own. It's designed to be added to any of your other skincare products to add some additional benefit. I love this because in 2024, streamlining is one of the key trends. People are looking to minimize their overall skincare routine. So if you can have a product on hand like this that allows you to adapt your other products depending on your individual skin's needs without having to buy a whole new set of skincare, I think that has to be a good thing. And they actually recommend, whilst you can mix this in with pretty much any, any skincare product you have. Check out that video, like I say, I linked earlier to see how I do it. But it's actually designed, or they recommend that you mix it in with one of their two other products. This is the Panthoenic Acid Serum, and this is the Panthoenic Acid Moisturizer. Both amazing in their own right. But if you add a little bit of this powder, it helps to mattify these two down. Great for us oily skin folk. But more importantly, it also helps to add some additional calming and soothing benefit to them. So if you're not oily and acne prone, you add a little of this to this and it will just help keep everything in equilibrium. One of the best things that I found to do with this is if you take one of these products and you put a fair amount of this into it, make it into a paste in your palm, you can then apply it to any blemishes that you have. Use it almost like a spot treatment, a spot mask. Let me tell you, do that before you go to bed. You wake up in the morning and that zit is half the size that it was. This, this is what I mean by innovation. The flexibility in this little pot is unparalleled. And I hope more brands start to do this. 
I know the Ordinary did have their own powders way back when, but they were pretty garbage because it was just really hard to get them to fit into anything. This fits with everything, and if you want some additional calming and soothing to your existing skincare routine, just throwing a couple of drops of this into your favorite serum or your moisturizer, then honestly, will just help you to achieve that without having to buy a whole set of new products. Innovation that I love, and I definitely, definitely recommend that so inexpensive as well. And a little goes a long way. You don't need a whole lot to achieve the benefit, so be sparing with it. One of these will probably last me a couple of months, and I love it. So let's keep with Numbuzzin as a brand, because I think they're the best example of the next innovation that I'm going to talk about coming from the Korean skincare market. And that's same ingredients, different textures. Let me, let me explain that. Often brands in the West will just come out with a serum or they'll come out with a cream. And if you want the ingredients blend in that, you have to have that consistency. Maybe you don't want it though. Maybe you would prefer that exact ingredient blend, but in a different format. And I love the fact that often with Korean skincare brands, they'll bring out the same formulation, the same great blend of ingredients, but in multiple different versions. So take, for example, this. This is the Numbuzzin um, Vitamin Concentrate range. You've got a serum. You've got a toner. You've also got some pads, which I absolutely love. I haven't got them on me at the moment, but I absolutely love them. And they've got very similar ingredient profiles across the three. This is great because the ingredients in here are phenomenal when it comes to fading hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and discoloration. You've got your vitamin Cs, you've got your niacinamide, your glutathione, all the things you want for fading hyperpigmentation. But as consumers, we get to choose how we want it. So for me, I prefer the serum. That's the texture that I enjoy applying the most and fits with my skincare routine. But a lot of you guys out there, I know, love a little toner action in your skincare routine. So you don't need to compromise. You can get that ingredient blend in a toner. If you want something that's super convenient on the go, the pads, which you can also use, like stick to your face and leave on for 10 minutes as a leave on treatment, are a great option. Now, if you're feeling bougie and extra, you can actually use multiple versions of this in the same routine for maximum benefit. But I love the fact that Korean skincare brands are now offering us, the consumer, the option to choose the texture that we want. We don't have to compromise. We can choose the right product to fit into our skincare routine and what we enjoy. Numbuzzin are a great example of this with this particular range that I love, but lots of other brands are doing it too. And I hope, I really hope that Western brands will start offering a little bit more flexibility in terms of the different textures and viscosities in their product so that we can really just enjoy what we like when it comes to that. Now, no video on Korean skincare would ever be complete without mention of Korean sunscreens, which I think is really the gateway that many of us in the West find ourselves accessing the Korean skincare market through. Most people will buy a Korean sunscreen first, realize how amazing the formulations are, and then explore the market in a bit more detail. That's certainly how I got into Korean skincare. And I'd love to know, is that the same for you guys? Did you, let me know in the comments, did you find that Korean sunscreens were like your gateway into wider Korean skincare? And whilst Korean sunscreens are really known for their new generation filters and their lightweight finish, I think there's more innovation in them that often gets overlooked. One of my favorite things out of Korean sunscreens is that they don't just offer that locked in skin protection. They also offer almost a complete skincare routine as part of that package. Take for example, this product. This is the K-Secret Collagen Boosting Secret Sun Lotion. So one of my personal favorite Korean sunscreens, it offers that locked in guaranteed protection, great broad spectrum coverage too. But actually, if you dig beneath that protection, you'll see it has a whole host of additional benefits. So they actually put it front and center here. So in this formulation, you've got your sun protection, but you've also got a great dose of collagen, which is gonna plump out and hydrate the skin. You've got a great hyaluronic acid complex, further plumping, a wonderful humectant. But you've also got amazing blend of different anti-aging peptides. You've got some calming and soothing ingredients. You've got a touch of niacinamide, and you've even got a dose of vitamin A, which is gonna be great for getting that cellular turnover going. This is almost an entire skincare routine in a bottle. So for those of us that are looking to streamline, get out of the door in super quick time. Cleanse the skin, maybe use your favorite toner, slap this on, you're protected, you haven't compromised in terms of your skincare routine, and you're getting a whole lot more than just sun protection. This is what I mean by innovation. I don't, can't think of any other Western brand that offers such a comprehensive formulation in a sunscreen as this one. Great in keeping with that trend for streamlining and one of my personal favorites. Like I said, this is linked below if you do want to check it out, but honestly, this you can't go wrong with.
Now, I think the most obviously innovative um, formulation to come out of the Korean skincare market recently is the VT Regal Shot. Now, this went viral about six months ago because it uses spicule technology, little silica particles that help to enhance the penetration rate of um, the active ingredients by pushing them deeper into the skin. Anyone that's tried the Regal Shot range will know it genuinely works. You get that instant hydration, instant plumping, and it works a lot quicker than um, other very similar products products without this spicule technology. Very innovative and I think definitely cutting edge, so much so that I know a lot of people actually feel a bit uncomfortable using it because it's a bit too you know, new and innovative and I totally get that. When it comes to skincare, use what works for you. And I do use this spicule technology, the VT shots, sparingly. A couple of times a week I use one of their products almost like a treatment rather than a daily skincare preparation. You can absolutely use them daily, but for me, I think weekly allows me to kind of come to terms with the level of innovation here, but still get the great benefits too. One of my favorites from the whole range, and you can see behind me, they have a whole different range. They've got a collagen one, a calming and soothing one. Um, this though is my absolute favorite. This is the vitamin C one. You've got vitamin C, glutathione, a great blend of calming and soothing ingredients, and that spicule technology to really get that vitamin C into the skin where it needs to be to give you that instant glow up. This works in a flash. No waiting around for a couple of months to see the results. After just a couple of uses of this, you see your hyperpigmentation fading, that glow, that luminosity return. And this honestly has become a firm favorite in my skincare routine. I love it so much, I did actually cover it in a separate video, which again, I'm gonna leave a link to up there. If you wanna explore this, how it works, get a bit more detail on it. But for me, this is the best of that VT range that you can see above me. I'm gonna experiment with some of the others, particularly the collagen one really excites me. But this, this is just phenomenal. And like I say, I choose to use it as a twice weekly treatment as opposed to a daily serum. But it's definitely a great one to kind of kick up your vitamin C game to the next level without really having to compromise or switch a whole lot round. I love that technology and that sort of innovation, I think, is streets ahead of what we're seeing with Western brands. Now, finally, I've got a couple of other mentions that I want to come on to. Um, this is a really popular Korean skincare product. This is the Mixun Bean Essence. Actually a very simple product. It's got, to my reckoning, about seven ingredients in it. But the reason that this became so popular is because it gives you that instant glass skin, that beautiful level of hydration, that plumpness, that glow to the complexion. And they managed to do it without a whole lot of actives. Most of this just relies on fermented ingredients. And again, the Japanese skincare market and the Korean skincare market are leading the way when it comes to fermented skincare ingredients. By just taking a standard ingredient, fermenting it, you can often double down on the level of hydration that you're going to get from that ingredient and the act action and the speed at which it's going to work. This uses soybean extract as its key ingredient, ferments it, trust me, you just get such a nice radiance boost, glow up and a real healthy plumpness to the skin. It's phenomenal. I was really, really quite skeptical when I first used this and then I've become a full convert. This must be bottle like four or five. Now, when you use it on the skin, it has a, I'm gonna try and show you this without it running everywhere. It's got quite a unique bouncy texture to it. Um, don't let that put you off though. It's not sticky. It sinks in so, so well. Look, I've just rubbed that in for 10 seconds and it's gone, but it leaves behind. Look at that sheen. Look at that beautiful hydration. And it also calms and soothes. I love fermented ingredients in my skincare routine. There's lots of Korean brands that utilize them, but this, this for me is my personal favorite. And I think this is innovation, again, streets ahead of Western brands. You are starting to see fermented ingredients make their way into Western skincare. Um, and hopefully that'll speed up and we'll see a lot more of it in the next couple of years. But, you know, Japan, Korea have been using fermented ingredients for decades. And I'm glad that it's finally been brought to our attention here in the West so we can enjoy the benefits of it. This, so good, not sticky. Just a guaranteed good skin day. Now, finally, I want to talk about eye patches. So eye patches are not new, they're not innovative, but most of them are garbage. I've been using eye patches for, oh gosh, probably 10, 15 years. None of them really work that well. They might give an instant sort of like depuffing, and that's probably the best you're gonna see. Most of them just have caffeine in and maybe a couple of binding ingredients. They haven't got a lot of real comprehensive skincare ingredients and skincare routine to them. That's until I discovered these. This is the K-Secret Retinol Advanced Regenerating Eye Patches. 
These are phenomenal because they're actually, again, in keeping with, say, that sunscreen that's almost like an entire skincare routine in a bottle, this is an entire skincare routine for your under eye. You've got Botox in a bottle, Azuraline, my favorite peptide. You've got some retinol, which is going to help with dark circles and the crow's feet. You've got a great blend of ingredients to reduce puffiness and inflammation. And it's just all around a wonderful, wonderful product. Um, now, you don't just have to use these under the eye. They're so great for anti-aging. You can use them on the laugh lines, on the 11s. Anywhere where you have that dynamic movement, you know, that there's wrinkles caused by movement in the skin. Apply one of these to it and it just gives you a real quick fix. They're so inexpensive, 14 pounds and you get 60 of them. I just love them. The brands do do some other ones. They do a vitamin C one that's really nice. But for me, I think the retinol ones are streets ahead. And there are other Korean skincare brands that are doing similar things. Taking the standard eye patch and saying, you know what? Instead of just using a lazy caffeine formulation, let's actually mix it up. Let's actually give the consumer what they want, which is an entire under eye skincare routine in a patch. You get this with that. I use it every single morning. So, so good. Never without it in my skincare routine. So... There you have it, guys. A bit of a whistle-stop tour, but a rundown of some of the very best innovative next-level Korean skincare products. There is a lot here. There's a lot here, and there's a lot more that I could share. So let me know your favorites when it comes to innovation from the Korean skincare market. And let me know if you'd like to see the equivalent video of this done on Western brands, because I'm always happy to create the content that you guys most enjoy watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the new setup and wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.